Hello everyone, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. Um, it's a nice typical shitty rainy day here in Seattle, Tennessee, as I'm going to start calling it, instead of Seymour. You know, I think it's rained half the year here, I can't believe it. So it's the rainiest year we've had that people know on record, you know. But anyways, uh, things you don't know and you forget to ask before you move to a place. But anyways, yeah. So um, now that the train... Time, time machine trains are being done. I've decided to jump back on a personal project through the holidays, which is the Gemini 12 slash Jupiter 2, which you've seen pictures of uh, the progress on it. So I thought I'd show you right now what I'm doing. So this is the control panel so far. Got it base coated out, as you can see. Um, little chairs here that I made. Uh, another, you can see the size of them. They're they're, they're much bigger than for the uh, Mobius kit. You know, I guess they're about one one twentieth, one eighteenth scale. I don't know. But yeah, there's the back parts. Yeah, so I molded those up. And the control panel, what I'm going to do is try to get these guys to turn. I've got these tiny little motors right here. They're all geared down, so they'll fit up in there, three of them. With this little uh, rheostat adjuster, so I can get it to go as the speed I want. There's a fourth motor, which I'm going to use for inside the ship. Way in the back, there's these reel to reel computer things turning, you know, uh, whatever they call those things, I forgot. And so I was thinking of maybe motorizing those too, that might be kind of neat. You know, everything else lights up like the, the show does, so why not that too, right? But for the um, the uh, graphics in here, I made these things up. So I'll show you here. Um, as you can see uh, what it looks like. You know, this one's just got this spinning thing, and this one's got this kaleidoscope thing going on. <clears throat> so here's the kaleidoscope done in a transparency. And then you have the... Uh, uh, so these here. I printed out more in case I screw up. There we go. These are the clear ones. I had to make these in clear because I made these in this you couldn't see through them enough, even with light. So I made up these transparent ones for the fronts and these translucent ones for the back. So when you put the two together, boom, you got your your thing going on there. So uh, this one here will be the one that will be spinning, obviously. Of course, these are just you know your typical. You know, I'll put them on a plexi disc and have them spinning. Actually, it won't be plexiglass; it'll be translucent clear as well. I'm going to uh, machine a, a disc with a hole in it and then mold it and cast out of translucent white material or just clear, probably just clear, really. I mean, because uh, if I make it translucent white, the, the green might not bleed through enough. I can add a little green to the clear which is probably what I'll do as well. So, anyways, that's what's happening here. Um, uh, I'll show you more. Is there more to show? All right, bye-bye.